Welcome to That's a Wrap, the channel where I review TV shows and movies. Today, I will be reviewing the hit miniseries on Disney Plus from Marvel Studios, WandaVision Episode 6, titled All New Halloween Spooktacular. But before that, if you like the content, please feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. If you haven't seen WandaVision, aren't caught up with the episodes, or haven't seen episode six, what is wrong with you? Just kidding, but consider this your warning to get out of this video. Even though I will be trying to keep it as spoiler free as I can. So all in all, my overall review of the episode was I enjoyed it. It wasn't boring. I was engaged. The story flowed very easily as it, as it has been, even though it's, it's definitely making us ask more questions than the answers that we are receiving. But I enjoy the slow trickle effect, the presentation along with everything else that this show is putting on for us i'm enjoying it and honestly the fact that we have only three more episodes left just shows how well this whole series has been written and the production value invested into wandavision is definitely coming through and this episode did not disappoint in continuing the tradition, as I'm going to put it, of this episode and the fruits of their labor. The camera work, the director, the actors, the extras, and my hats off to everyone putting that much attention to detail, taking a scene and having control over that many people to give us a story that makes it believable is amazing to me and again maybe i'm just looking at it from a if i was watching a sitcom on nbc abc or fox the old school way perhaps that is where my mind should shift because this isn't that this is a full-on movie you know game of thrones quality of style being presented to us and again not just the visuals that they're spending money on everyone's buying into it the fact that everyone bought into what WandaVision was. Once once everyone buys in, that's a championship team because everyone knows their roles. Everyone knows what they're there to do. And even with the introduction to whatever version of Quicksilver you wanna associate with, just the actor coming in with that much pressure mind you he might not be feeling a bit of pressure because he's an actor but in my mind i feel how how much pressure would you feel if you were going into mcu calls you and all of a sudden you're not you know being presented in a new way like maybe the eternals coming up you know no, you're coming into an established uh, franchise. And mind you, I know WandaVision isn't an established franchise, but you're taking two established characters that have been in the MCU for a long time, all the way up to the age of Ultron, to now, and two seasoned actors playing these guys, that playing these characters, they have mannerisms down. They have how they talk and bounce stuff off each other. And coming from a different production studio and joining the MCU and making it somewhat believable. And not someone, someone selling it short like he isn't. Doing the, the playing the part and making it believable owning that role just speaks volumes 
to his mastery of acting. And I enjoy it. Again, whatever version you want to put him, whether he's X-Men or, or, or just a recasting of the MCU Quicksilver, that's not the point. The point is I'm appreciating the acting from the an actor. Okay, I love him in a lot of stuff that he's in. But coming into that, and, and again, what I'm assuming would be pressure on my part. Don't know if he's feeling it on, on his part. But if he is, he's definitely not letting it show. I think his performance is strong and definitely vibes good with Wanda and Vision. Hats off to the writing and hats off to the producer and director for maybe, you know, whatever it is, I, I'm liking it. So I think everyone can agree that this episode, if I could, if I could put this episode in one word i would call it aggressive or summarize it in one word i would say aggressive characters attributes their if their you know their anger rolls faster their frustration rolls faster their plans whatever their plans was like was evolving faster and along with the storyline seemed to just push forward faster like it wants us to start to start getting to a point it seems like we're starting, we're going to start hitting some major uh, hit, you know, talking points here, some major story plot in these last three episodes. So I'm, I'm enjoying it. There's nothing but rave reviews coming from my mouth about this uh, great show that I'm, that I am watching. If I, if I, if I had to nitpick this episode, there was only two things. One was the acting director of S.W.O.R.D. And I mentioned it a little bit or hinted at it as far as when I said, uh, uh, you know, attitudes are getting higher and, you know, aggression is getting higher. Like his push from being annoying, you know, we know we knew he was evil or up to something, but it seemed like in this episode, it caused him to go really really fast it, he went from zero to a hundred real quick as as they say and i i don't know i just didn't i don't think the story needs it you know it, it kind of just like makes me annoy annoyed and angry at him i guess maybe that's what the show's going for and i i was thinking is he joffrey levels of like i'm starting to hate him and i was like no he's not joffrey levels yet but he's He's inching closer to little fingers areas of annoying me. So we'll see. Maybe he'll get there by next episode. And the second one, which is a recurring thing that I have, is Darcy's ability to be Tony Stark. And by that is that he she can hack into anything. We saw her today going into like double walled encrypted files of sword and it took her like less than three seconds. I don't mind that. I just want to know where. And even then, I know my mind goes, well, there's been a lot of years since Thor the Dark World to seeing her now. So maybe she was already super smart and just became even more smart. But in the first two movies, she was just comic relief. So my mind cannot wrap itself around the fact that she is just Shuri levels of intelligence. Like, you know, just brilliant. And I'm like, how is this possible? But other than that, I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. And I don't want to seem like the actress. She's doing a great job and I love her. The, the part that I'm having a problem is with the character part. Where, how is she this smart? And when does she, how does she know all this stuff? Like you have way other people that are probably, I'm assuming smarter, but even that I can't say that because right now what she's presenting me is that she's the only one that knows anything. She figured out about the TV in earlier episodes. And then if you, when you, when you watch this episode, how many times does she break into things in, in the internet or break through firewalls and find files and infiltrate sword files to find out information? And she does it so quickly with no hesitation. 
And even in the other episode where it's like, and you know, the, the where we get, I think it's episode four, like the whole montage where she's just bam, 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 and she's sending in the radio wave into for Wanda to see it in that scene with Dottie, like, I'm just thinking, how? How is this happening? How is she this brilliant? And I'm just, I just keep on, my mind, I have to keep on telling my mind, she went to college, she went to, she figured this out somewhere. She she was always this smart. And maybe it's just a, a problem with that character. Maybe they had someone else in mind, but then decided to write her in, in that part. I don't know, but... It's just a minor thing that my, you know, tiny brain seems to focus on every time she does something as far as uh, as far as uh, figuring out something minor detail. So not breaking the streak for those things. Five out of five Quicksilvers. I enjoyed it and I hope you guys did, too. But. Let me know what you guys thought of episode six. Did you guys think it was kind of aggressive? I did. Like it just became a little, the story felt fast paced in the time frame. but maybe it was just me. I would love to hear you guys' you know, point of view and, and what you thought of this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review and like always, that's a wrap. <laughs>